Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Exodus Crash Nightfall. We're doing it on Voidwalker, bottom tree of the subclass, so I can use Devour. We're using Blast Furnace, Recluse, and the Wendigo, which is the pinnacle Vanguard weapon for this season. I have Grenade Launcher Scavenger, Grenade Launcher Reserves, and Heavy Ammo Finder on my armor, and I'm using Eye of Another World. The modifiers we're using, we've got a 3.85 score modifier, which is achieved with a 210 power handicap. I've got Void Singe, Heavyweight, Match Game, and Extinguish on. The other very interesting thing is, you can now raise the power handicap to 260, as you can see in the video. Now, you could do this before. You could do this in the previous seasons to compensate for the income and power increase. So, I'm wondering, if, are we going to get another power increase this season? Have they done this? Is this just a remnant of, you know... What they were doing before is this just a mechanic that's you know they haven't replaced yet that at the start of the season that it takes into consideration the new power handicap coming in i haven't heard anything the only thing i heard that it was that the heroic menagerie the boss is going to be 770 so i have been out the loop this week i've i'm i've got the worst worst illness known to man i think i've i think i've got man flu i know thanks i appreciate all your well wishes no, I think I've got a viral infection near that or a chest infection because I feel like I've been I feel like I've been absolutely smashed to bits with a baseball bat. I wasn't gonna come on and do a video at all this week, uh, because I've been slowly just getting worse all week. Uh but I didn't want to leave you guys without at least one run and with it being extra crash, I've I've only ever done one high score on this. I've done one I done one nightfall and one high high score, so and obviously I got the Wendigo. I got it before before reset on Tuesday, so I I I've left it about as long as I could. I did want to get back to the Tuesday Wednesday uploads this week, so hopefully if I can just rest up over the weekend for the rest of the weekend, maybe we can get back to just putting those runs up on a Tuesday. Uh, maybe getting two high scores done a week, because I'm pretty close to hush as well, so I haven't managed to go in and have a go at that this week. I've only got twenty percent more medals to get, and that's that done because. I like a bow. You guys have seen me use bows before, so I, I would like to see how how good it is in a in a PVE environment. But it did get me thinking. Actually, there aren't a lot of nightfalls where solar solar weapons are really good, because especially if you've got match game on. Just thinking about it, you might have a couple of enemies with solar shields, but the majority of nightfalls is arc and void shields. It's very strange. Anyway. This is this is the the viewer the 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 viewer participation section. I think that this boss is the worst nightfall boss. So let me know in the comments. Uh, do you guys think that this is the hardest nightfall, or do you just think that this boss is the hardest? You know, or or maybe you don't. Maybe you don't think this is the hardest. I think it's hard because it's unenjoyable. I don't think this is a very enjoyable. I've got a couple of problems with this strike but there is no denying that as from a solo standpoint this is the one that i want to solo when it comes up this is the one I, oh god it's extra crash it's not enjoyable but it's a bit of a badge of honor that you know if you do a solo i haven't seen many high scores a legitimate high score solos on this one i've seen you know i've seen ones when when the sub the the arc strider subclass was broke but let's be honest, nearly every Nightfall boss was one phaseable back then. But getting the high score with, you know, legitimately on this, is, is, it's not easy. So it's a bit of a badge of honor to do it. So I like to do it when it comes out. So, the Wendigo. The Wendigo is, as I've already said, and as you guys probably know, it is this season's Vanguard Pinnacle Weapon. It, you get it from getting 1,500... Uh, grenade launcher kills within Vanguard Strike playlists. I think it's 500 multi kills, and you have to get 100% of medals. Which I have to be honest, I have to be honest. I never call Bungie out on stuff like this, but the way that they've set up the the pinnacles this season is is so the, the description of what you have to do is is so ambiguous. It's not very straightforward on what you have to do. It's like, get 100% of medals. What medals? You know, why am I not getting percentage for, 
for certain medals. It's because only certain medals really count, so... But it's not very straightforward. It's not well explained, I don't, I don't think, for Hush and for the best grenade ever thrown. Just had to, just had to get that in there before somebody else said it. There's another one. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I, I've got your backs. There's another worse grenade than that because I'm, st I'm literally, I haven't used this subclass for what seems like forever, and it's, it's a bit of a travesty actually that I haven't because it's, it's so good. But. Uh, yeah, the the hush is the hush is very very uh, not very easy to understand either. But basically, what you do, what you get is you get four. If if you use a grenade launcher, you go through the strike and you don't die. The average what you should be aiming for is about four percent a strike. Yes, there are ways to cheese it. It's not so much cheese it because you still have to get the kills. There's no real cheesing involved. But. Uh, the reason why this is pretty much sought after is the Wendigo has two states. It's got normal, and then it's got the explosive light state. Now, if you pick orbs up, whether you've got your super or not, you can pick orbs up. You don't even have to have the weapon out, and the weapon will register the orbs you've picked up. You will charge a grenade. You can charge six grenades at any one time. When you fire one, you've got five left. If you pick another orb up, it will charge a sixth. So... The, it increases the damage and blast radius of those shots. Now, I've heard, and again, I'm not going to say it, but I, I, haven't, I, haven't bothered, I haven't bothered checking to see if this is accurate, but it seems like it is. It increases the damage by 70%. Now, that seems like a lot, and I could be wrong with that, because that seems like you know, a hell amount. It could only be 40%. I mean, it has a massive... I, 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 when I tested it, I wanted to bring it in a high score to test it. Because I, I feel like this is... In these strikes, you get to see, especially with the big handicap on, it's doing the same sort of thing it would do in raids. Because we, we've put ourselves down, you know, to the, the, the lowest we can be and still do damage. Just about. I mean, we could take it a little bit lower, but you guys know what I mean. We're on the threshold of this activity. So, it really is punching at, at enemies at the same weight that it's at. So, I wanted to test it. And as you can see, this is what you do with blinding light. Now, excuse that shot. Let's just forget I even fired that one. Grenade launchers, for anybody that doesn't know, they do do a, they do a critical damage. So, if you're firing at an enemy that has a crit spot, you will do a lot more damage for, for a crit. Now, I fired uh, in, in my test runs of this because it's, it, I did have a few test runs of this, guys, because it's really hard to do this type of stuff when your eyes are sticking and looking at the screen. And that's exactly what I've been feeling this week. Uh, when I've been doing this, there's been times where I've had it bang on and it's been two, two shots to, to easily kill one of those servers. So... You know, that's kind of what you're looking for as, as the crit. It also has blinding grenades. So, basically, if you shoot at an, a set of ads and you only kill some of them, it's quite a big radius, especially if you've got the aforementioned explosive light. It's got quite a big radius, so it will blind any enemies that are around. So, I wanted to test it in here, and I, I have to say... It's still pretty good without the blinding light. It is pretty good without the explosive and the blinding light. Without the explosive light. I keep calling it blinding light. It is still pretty good. It's still a pretty powerful weapon. But with that explosive light, if you can get the time six, it's it's it's, it's definitely worth the gra It's definitely worth having. I don't know if anything is worth that level of grind, but it's definitely worth worth having. So let me explain the section we're in. When you come in, obviously you've got to clear the enemies that are in here and you get on this plate. The waves of ads come at different percentages of the plate charge. So I think it's like 20%, 30%, 50%, 70%, 80%. very close to being those percentages. As you can see, we got this this at eighty percent. Now this is the this is exactly exactly what you've seen on the screen. That's exactly what you'll get every time with the with the vex here. With the take with the fallen, you get the first 
you know, obviously you're getting fallen, you're not getting vex. But for the the fifty percent, you'll get the two servitors, and for the at seventy percent, you'll get one saber shank, and at the 80, 85 percent, you'll get two saber shanks. Now, we, I don't like the fallen version. I don't like the strike. I I I don't have a good time in the strike. I don't find it difficult, I just find it annoying, the boss especially. And the fact of where we are now. We're in a public area where we cannot score points. So for me, if in a high score nightfall, we can't score points. I'm not in a high score nightfall right now, I'm in a public patrol zone. But if I die because I've got extinguish on, I'm out. It's, it's, I, I suppose it's because I've got extinguish on. But I just don't like the fact that there's, you know, you can die here. Because the public events, you know, anything could happen. But you can't score points here. You can't, there's no point in trying to clear any enemies. So, and and I think they've negated the whole, uh, someone stays here and scores points and the other people move on. The way that people were doing with the law sectors, because there's a time. You've got 15 minutes and you start losing points, and you but you gain points at 50%, you know, the amount. So anyway, I, 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 I don't like this strike, but... One of the one of the the things one of the everything's got a silver lining. You can rally a flak because you're in a patrol zone. So, as I've always said, you need heavy ammo, full heavy ammo at the boss. So, luckily, as you'll see in this video, which it's nice that we you know get to show this after me saying it, I am going to rally a flag because it, I'm going to use grenade launcher to take down this tank. Now those saber shanks. They do pose a problem here. As you can see, I nearly die from this one. But as soon as the Saber Shank's dead, they disappear. So I'm going to pick up these orbs, get get two more blinding uh, explosive explosive shots. And then just on my screen, just so I'm going up here, you'll see the public event will appear. I'm going to use the 30 seconds to go and get it. Now, when we go into the ship, when we're heading towards the boss... What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot an explosive canister which will kill all the immediate ads at the bottom of the stairs. And then I'm just going to go because the wanted enemy, although it's points and it's decent points, uh, the wanted enemy is solar shield. So I'll end up burning a heap of heavy and he has that, 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 that wanted shank that's inside the ship. He really has a pain in the backside. So let's speak a little bit about the boss. I've put Eye of Another World on because not only does it buff my abilities... But it also marks high priority enemies, including this guy. So he's easier to see when he's trying to sneak up, and that's a good thing. So I've got a place where I'm going to do the whole thing for him. We're going to try and stagger our grenade for Devour, and we're going to stagger the grenade and the, the rift. Now I have an ordnance mod on, so the ordnance mod obviously gives you a grenade back faster. I have. A class ability mod on to get my rift back a little bit faster, and basically you just you just have to be aware. That's the main thing of this. You have to be aware. You got to remember to keep proking your devour. Now the boss will come. I th you'll see with the damage. I think he's got like three, three or four, three kind of phases, and they're linked to his health. So he'll come. He'll keep coming uh, in between the waves until you take the first, I think, half of his health or first health bar off him. Then he'll come back once the ads have gone and then he comes back for his final kind of, final salvo during his last health bar. Now, if you do big damage to him, he'll kind of skip one of those. You know, so as you can see, he's going to come up here. I've put a rift down. Now, he... He's quite hard to pin down here, as you see. I missed it with three, but we've hit him with another two. He's going to come back, right? So we're going to charge this, and we want to keep we want to keep with Devour, and I can't go out and attack, so we'll just take this Exploder, wait for the boss. Here he is, and he just stands there, takes a couple of shots. So we've got him. We've got him at this moment in time to about half half health, just just over half health. So. I've got Devour, so to make the most of it, we kind of need to get kills. So, as you can see, it's perfect for being, for running and gunning. For anybody that says, oh, I don't have the recluse, a shotgun would probably do. 
because you know it, it does a lot of damage or fusion rifle you just want something you can attack with i'm using the recluse because until you proc the recluse's kind of perk it's i mean it's still good it's not a bad smg by you know, nobody could say that but until you proc it's uh, master of arms it's 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 not amazing. It's when you proc the Master of Arms. So if you've got a fusion rifle with Rampage or a shotgun with Rampage, it's kind of kind of the same principle. No. So the boss hasn't come back because he that's his damage cycle, first damage cycle over. Those exploders, I took them out for score, but what they were telling me was they're still enemies. Because when you clear all the enemies from a section. They will explode, letting you know that that's basically your first damage phase is over. So we're going to move back up to our spot, take the last guy down. Any exploders will, ex will, will, will explode. And now we're going to get a wave of ads and the boss. So we want, to, we want to identify the boss as fast as possible. There he is, and you'll see what the eye, the eye of another world does. It marks him. So he's a lot easier to track with that. So I'm trying to keep him at arm's length. I don't want him coming up. With, so he's almost at his first health bar. So charge charge the grenade. And we want to keep this going. Now when you get pushed like this, don't be scared to do that. Don't be scared to burn a couple of a couple of heavy just to make sure that you keep you keep uh, devour propped. So we're just trying to identify where the where the real target is. And there's the worst grenade I've ever thrown. I tried to I tried to I don't know what I've done there actually. But now I have to play just a little bit more uh carefully because I can't I can't get devoured just yet. But I do have my rift now, which is good. So we're just going to try and take out some of the, the, the last kind of enemies that are around. Because we want the boss to come back. Because we're 16 and a half minutes. We've got 110,000. Now I do trade with this boss this time. Should add that. Should have added that before. I wasn't too bored. I don't really like trading with bosses. This boss though is such a pain. That I... Not really that I didn't care. But I, it was still a result. You know, just to get the completion. Not that it was, I doubted it. I just, it's done. As you can see there, he was the last enemy. And then all the all the rest of them exploded. So, I've put a rift down. I threw my grenade just out of habit. But now I'll throw this. So, there's the boss there. So, I'll put a couple on him just to get him to go. And I know that I've got eight eight rounds. As you can see, I've got rounds in front of me should I need them. But I'm just burning a couple. He jumped. Now, normally I'd have jumped and fired. But he caught me off guard because I, I, he hadn't come from the left. So as you can see, you really have to keep a swivel on. And that's the run. Just stay up on there. Stay up on that box where, where we're looking now. On that tank behind the box. Stagger your... Swallow your grenade. Stagger that and your rift, and you should be fine. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership as always. As soon as I'm better, we'll get back to the Tuesday, Wednesday uploads. And until then, I will see you in the next video.